Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sea Weekly. This is episode three, back once again for just a weekly dose of sea action. First up, we're going to jump straight into tournament results for the week. And last week, there was just the one major event. There was plenty of smaller events, but I'm not going to cover that in this video because that would take a long time to get through. Sea does have a lot of weekly events. Anyway, just the major event for last week, it was the ESTC 2011, did take place in Thailand over last weekend. It was a very exciting event, I've got to say. I was watching as much as I could of that, keeping track of the brackets and my favorite players, of course. Uh, it was a very exciting finals as well. I did manage to cast that. Thank you, Myth Jump, for allowing me to do that. And it, it was a 3-2. The finalists, though, were Flash, Revenant, and MITH Red Archon, two of the strongest players in the region. Revenant, obviously, from Singapore. Red Archon from Thailand. And Revenant did, in the end, barely defeat Red Archon. It was a very close finals, uh, three to two. Obviously, you can't get any closer than that. The best of five vods are on my Twitch TV channel. I'll put the link in the video, of course. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. Very exciting finals. Can't go wrong there. Next up, we do have upcoming events in C, and I'll tell you what. The next couple of weeks are looking to be very exciting. First up, we do have WCG National Finals going on right now. As we speak, looking to be pretty exciting. Brackets are basically halfway done, waiting for them to finish up tomorrow. And I've got to say, tomorrow the games look to be very exciting. The brackets look like they're going to line up to have some pretty epic games. I see Glade and T-Gun are both alive, and I'd love to see those two play in a major tournament. That would be very exciting. Uh, also coming up... Next week, in fact, is BlizzCon. I know it's more of a national event. We're more doing sea events here, but we do have two of our players going over there. Moonglade and Zeria Jazzbaz will be attending BlizzCon, and we've got to cheer those guys on. They're going to be playing against the best players in the world from every region. We're talking like MVP, T, Naniwa will be there, Chef, Select. These are like world-known names, and our two guys are going. Go cheer them on. Hopefully they can win some games, and who knows, they might be able to knock MVP in the lower bracket. Wouldn't that be exciting? Uh, yeah, I'm not really expecting that to happen, but you know, you got to hope, you got to hope. Also coming up this week, we do have the ACL show match. For you guys that don't know, ACL are more a console league, and next year they are picking up StarCraft 2. I'll be working with them, as well as Docs, and as well as some other people, and we will bring... Uh, making the event very good for StarCraft 2, I can show you that. But this week, to sort of show off ACL and sort of merge the communities together, there is a show match going on on Tuesday. It looks to be very exciting. I've got to say there are two best of fives going on. The first being uh, Moonglade versus Zeria Iagas. Looks to be very exciting, that best of five. Whenever those two play, it's very, very exciting. Very close games as well. And second up, we do have TT Esports Pig versus Zeria Light. That also looks to be very exciting. Pig very, very hot at the moment, and light is just the best Protoss in C, let's face it. Tune in to that. It will be on Tuesday at 8 p.m. Sydney time, which is like 7 p.m. for Brisbane, etc., etc. It will be at twitch.tv slash ACL Pro. There'll be links everywhere. Don't worry. You'll have to be blind to miss it. Also coming up next weekend, I believe, is the IPL finals for the, the Australia qualifier, at least. Two winners from that will be going over to Philippines to play against Koreans as well as Pinoys and all sorts of other people. And it should be a very exciting event, I've got to say. Uh, all the best players. In fact, it looks like it's basically a WCG lineup. Pretty much copy and paste that and do that again. So two major events in two weeks. It's looking to be very, very exciting. Uh, I'm definitely going to be tuning into that one for sure. Uh, next up, we are going to be doing our player profile. And this week, it will be TT Pig. Pig is an Australian. He's currently on team TT Esports, which is a very, very strong team, I've got to say. They have very few players, but the players they do pick up are always very solid. And it's good to see them recognize Pig as a, as a high skill player there. He currently does not have any nemesis. The reason for that is he's just a complete nice guy. Everyone that meets him is like, oh, this guy's just really nice. That's just how it is. He recently went to IEM China as one of the two C qualifiers. He did have a very difficult group and wasn't able to advance out of that, but did so show some very good games there. I was very impressed by his play. He did defeat Moonglade 2-0 in the IEM qualifiers there. And anyone that can beat Glade on C in a best of series in a major tournament definitely deserves sort of paying attention to. Pig is no ex exception there at least. He has got a very strong ZVZ, definitely his best matchup, unlike every other Caesar, I've got to say. His decision making, his micro, his macro in that matchup are very, very strong, and it's always fun to watch him play that. He also has a pig plushie he takes to events. He does have it sit on top of his computer or next to him and does cheer him on as he plays. It's a very cute little addition there. He also won the WCG Brisbane qualifier a few weeks ago. And this weekend, he is at the national finals. It is currently day two coming up tomorrow. Definitely going to be a very strong event. And wish him luck. He's still in the event. He still has a chance to go to Korea. 
and I'd definitely be keeping my eye on him because he's a very strong player. This next replay will be between TT Pig, who is the blue zerk in the bottom of tank corner here on Tallery Malta. And in the top left, we do have TT Apollo Apro, a player from the TESL. This is playing on the Taiwan server. That's why Pig is not on his TT Pig account as well as that is, is a fairly new account here. We have Pig here blocking the Nexus here from Apro. Nice little micro there, but there is two probes there, and two probes can out micro that one drone. Is forced away. That Nexus will be able to go up finally, but that pr uh, drone is very low health. Ooh, the probe almost kills it off. It barely escapes that drone. That drone is actually going to be a small little game for Pig there as he moves it down to the 6th floor position here, and what's he going to do with it? Oh, a hatchery. A very fast third here from Pig. Smart move when you see your opponent forge fast expand. But we have on the high ground here a pylon. This could be danger for Pig. Could be our low ground cannons. It could just be warpings later in the game, but he's got to be worried about that. Anyway, Ling does swing past and is able to find that pile, and it will be killed off. Nice little uh, scouting there by Pig. Is checking every corner of the map for proxies, for, for probes, for pylons, of course. We have Stargate play coming out here from Apro. It could be quite good with his uh, 6 o'clock expansion, but a Zealot coming to the natural here. And look, the micro back from that drone there. The micro back once again, but the Zealot gets the last hit anyway. It does get that one kill. Zealot is killed off, but just puts a little bit of pressure on Pig. Nice little poke there. I do like it. What's coming up next? We do have uh, ooh, an Overlord being sacrificed in here. A Void Ray does pop out. We'll be able to clean this up, but it will give away that he's going Stargate tech here. So Pig can start getting prepared, can start getting Queens and uh, and Spores. But we do have, uh, oh my goodness, a hidden pile on the War Pin coming in as well. The uh, Probe is killed off, but the pile on most likely won't. Zelda's are already making their way towards that fourth base. Two of them are coming in here. Can they deal some damage? But they're, oh, the roaches pop out at the exact same time. That is going to be killed off with almost no damage done at all. But the Void Race and the other Zelda are at the top there. Void Race is not much of an answer to them. Keep in mind, there is no creep spread joining these bases up. So the Queens are going to have a very hard time going over there. Stalker's coming in to assist. Very, very strong. Grand Army by Pig. But the anti-air is severely lacking. Especially with this lack of creep going on here. But the Stalker's and the Zelda's are being cleaned up by his roaches quite efficiently here. Can he get that Void Ray? I don't think he's going to be able to and no that queen does get taken out void ray barely living the second void ray coming in here and pig's ground army is going to be forced back quite far here it's got no answer for those two void rays has got a spore up in his uh, third base but will it be able to help that spine crawler is going to get taken out of course by his void rays no way to hit in the air of course pushing forward here the void ray does go into spore crawler range gonna be very careful and does lose that void ray there oh good that's that's a very nice game there for pig but sloppy play there from apro uh more well, queen coming in here but it's, he's also going to get killed off and these roaches are going to push this ground army back. Air control, definitely in Apro's favor, but the ground army is very strong for Pig here. Apro is pushing for once again. There are Void Rays there, but unfortunately the ground army, once again, still not strong enough. Void Rays are good, but they cannot kill that many roaches very quickly. Oh my god, the queen is going to kill the Void Rays. Don't be careful, it's going to micro it, and he doesn't micro it back. That Void Ray is taken out, and with the end of that air control, Apro has no way to be aggressive here, and does take his third base. He has to pull back from there. If your only advantage is your Void Race and you do lose, you got to pull back. Piggy is taking his fourth base, though, and is pushing forward with a maxed out Roach Hydra army. I don't know if Apro is going to have much of an answer to this, especially considering he's on 117 supply. Oh, God, that's a lot of Roach Hydra coming in here. He's got no force fields. He might be able to get what, one Guardian shield up, but that's not going to help him too much. So many units there. The Colossi does pop out, but that's just going to be GG, I think. No way at all to come back from this. He's just losing way too much supply, and Pig can keep remaxing. Well played to Pig. Does pick up this game. This has been C Weekly Episode 3. Hopefully you have enjoyed the show. If you have any feedback, please leave it on YouTube, SC2C, Team Liquid, C Battle.net forums. Wherever you'd like to leave it, I will definitely read all of it as much as I can. And definitely take it into consideration. Obviously, I do have a time constraint. I do other things. I do work. So I can't spend a week on this. But hey, if there's some easy things I can implement, I'm more than happy to do that. Definitely thank you for the feedback I've received so far. Hopefully you can see an improvement. Uh, and I'll continue to improve the show as much as I can. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next week.